Hello everybody, this is Angel Arts, and look, look you guys, look what game this is! This is a game that I have been anticipating for years now, I am so pumped, I am so excited. This is, as you can see on the screen, Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, before I continue, um, I wanted to start by saying, if this is your first time coming to my channel, if it's, this is your first time seeing one of my Let's Plays, first of all, welcome, hi, thank you for dropping by. Um, I would highly, 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 highly recommend, if this is your first time with me, to please um, check out the introduction to my channel video. Um, I'll post a link in this screen and also in the description below. The reason why um, I highly recommend that you do that before you do anything else is because um, I, my Let's Play style, um, I cater to a very specific audience, I think, and because of that, I, I want to make sure that you guys are able to educate yourselves in order to determine whether or not um, I am a good Let's Player fit for you. Because the last thing I want to do is to waste anybody's time and this um, video I, I made specifically to try to tell you um, very briefly some of the key things that you should know, um, some of the key things that you should expect from me as a Let's Player so that you can decide for yourself if I'm compatible with you, if I'm a good fit for you. So. Go ahead and check that out, and if everything looks good and dandy, come on back, and I would love to share this experience with you. Um, and if not, then again, thank you very much for checking me out, and hopefully you'll be able to find, I'm sure there'll be tons of Let's Players doing Mass Effect Andromeda all over the place. You should have no problem finding someone who's a good fit for you. But if you wanted to hang out with me, welcome again. Um, this is Gay Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. This is a blind Let's Play. Oh my gosh, this takes me back because the very first Let's Play I ever did was from this series. This was way, way, way back when Mass Effect 3 was first released. And Mass Effect 3 was the very first Let's Play that I did. And um, I am just so excited to... After finishing the trilogy, um, I actually am, as of this recording, replaying Mass Effects 1 and 2 to bridge the gap to my, you know, gay let's play of Mass Effect 3. I am trying to complete the trilogy, but now that Andromeda's dropped, I'm definitely going to be focusing my efforts on Andromeda for the most part. Those of you who are still watching Mass Effect 2, don't worry, I am going to finish the series. It's just, I am prioritizing this for right now, but eventually Mass Effect 2 will also be done. So, Mass Effect Andromeda, let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, the big thing that I will say before I move on, that um, just to reiterate uh, what has already been said in my um, intro to my channel is, spoilers, 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 no spoilers please, this is a blind let's play. Please do not post any spoilers, and what I consider as a spoiler is if you post something in the comments section that hasn't happened yet. Um, if it happened in the video, that's perfectly fine, but it, ha it hasn't happened by the time that the video ends. Please do not write anything in the comments section. Um, if anyone who's watching wants to help me out, and if you see somebody, you know, put down a spoiler, most of the time, it's by accident. Um, if you're able to private message me to notify me of that so that I can get rid of said comment, that'd be great. I'm going to try really hard to not read like the comments immediately. I'll probably give it a few days. Um, so if you private message me, then that'll help a lot. And it's just, you know, just don't do it because it, it not only, um, it not only, uh, it becomes an issue for me um, because I'm blindly less playing. It's also, you know, is a problem for everybody who's watching who wanted to see me 
and my genuine reactions and who wants to make sure that the integrity of my blind let's play is maintained. Anyway, enough talking. I am going to press space to start. Okay, so here we go, guys. Um, we are going to do a customized character because that's just how we roll. Although I love, love the appearance of the default writer way more in my in my opinion, way more than my uh, than the default shepherd. Complete missions important to your squad mates to earn their loyalty and unlock their top tier skills. Yep, I'm liking I'm liking this a lot. I love, love, love companion quests. They're an awesome way for you to get to know and bond with your characters. Oh, look at this! It's the character creation screen! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh, they both... Both writers are so pretty. Both of them are so ridiculously pretty. I'm gonna choose male for the time being. Um, doggone it. Scott Ryder, default Scott Ryder is ridiculously sexy. Okay, let's customize the appearance. Um, oh my goodness. Sweet. Okay. What am I going to have as my base? So that's interesting. Huh. Two, three. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay. I thought the writers are supposed to be particularly young. That's the thing that I'm wondering lore-wise, if you made a writer that looks a little older. Well, I guess he's not that much older looking, but you can make them look older looking, because I thought the whole point is that the writer twins are supposed to be relatively young. This is actually a really cool... That's a really cool um, head. Some of, I'm really impressed by some of these preset selections here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, interesting. So what I wanted to try to do is um, I want to try to create a writer of color. Um, I'm trying to, you know, be a little bit more representative in my Let's Play characters because I think that's important. The hair for me is the most important part. So... Can you... I heard... Oh, I heard you can go wild and crazy with the hair. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Orange hair. I can have orange hair. That's so amazing. Oh, my goodness. This is pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's the future, so in the future, I guess people like having their, you know, dyeing their hairs different colors. Okay, guys, so I think I'm pretty happy with my male writer. So like I said, I was kind of going for more of a mixed Asian. Um, you know, I really wanted to have, for one, I've, I've been... Most of the um, characters that I make are Caucasian, and so I wanted something that was a little bit more representative, and this look, this guy's look, I think is pretty, pretty awesome in my, in my opinion. So we're going to select that, and we're going to confirm. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I, I really like the unique look of my writer right now. That's pretty hot. Choose training. Okay. So what is it rich training says? Choose the special training writer received in the Milky Way before joining the Andromeda Initiative. This training determines what powers you'll have from the start and what skills you'll gain early access to. Oh! I like that. You get early access to do. Current training security. During your Alliance military service, you focus on learning everything you could about weapons and tactics. Starting power, concussive shot, fires a heat-seeking high-impact round to knock down opponents. Unlock skills, turbocharge, grants a massive short-term boost to weapon fire rate and thermal clip efficiency. 
combat fitness grants increased durability and the option to carry more weapons in a battle. So this is basically like the soldier. Biotic. You were effectively designated Biotic, oh, the token Biotic, during your alliance military tenure, assisting your cohorts with your ability to control mass effect fields. Starting power, throw. Use your Biotic powers to hurl an opponent through an air, that's pretty awesome. Unlock skill Singularity, create a vortex that will trap and enable enemies caught in this field. Barrier, bolster your defenses with a powerful biotic barrier. Technician. As a technician in the Systems Alliance military, you'll learn to operate drones and hack sy enemy systems. Starting power overload, unleash an electrostatic charge that deals high damage to shields and synthetic enemies can chain to multiple targets. That's cool. Unlock skills, Invas invasion. Hack into your opponent's armor weapons, infecting them with a computer virus to weaken their defenses and even spread to nearby foes. That's pretty cool. Team support. Develop specialized technology to bolster the survivability of your entire squad. So I'm, I tend to like characters that are um, team players. I tend to like players that buff our teammates and you know help our teammates out. I'm not much of a kind of character who wants to do the most damage or who wants to like you know, wants to, I guess, take the lead in, like, physical combat, so technician seems really cool right now. Leader, now leader also is pretty neat. You were a team player and natural leader in the Alliance military, working closely with your cohorts for their safety and the safety of others. I like this too. Starting power, energy drain. Drain your target's shields to replenish your own, especially effective against synthetic enemies. Unlock skills, annihilation, weave a shifting aura, um, of mass effect fields around you to slowly damage nearby foes. That's cool. Team support. Develop specialized technology to bolster the survivability of your entire squad. I like this also. Scrapper. When a fight broke out, you were always the first soldier in the thick of it, mostly according to the Alliance military protocol, and occasionally not. Charge. Ooh, charge. This is like Vanguard almost. Launch yourself like a comet at the opponent and regain a portion of your shields on impact. Combat fitness. Grants increased to your ability and the option to carry more weapons into battle. Charge, see above. Operative. In the Alliance military, you studied covert operations, so this is sort of like the infiltrator. And tech, used by special forces. Knowledge, you rarely found a use for until the Andromeda Initiative. Tactical cloak. Employ light bending technology to become invisible for a short duration. Gain a large damage bonus when you break cloak to attack. Unlock skills, combat fitness. Grants increase your ability and the option to carry more weapons into battle. Tactical cloak, see above. So they, this is kind of cool. They sort of re, redid the six classes. So this seems more like soldier. This seems more like well, this is by odd. This is ad adept. This is more like the engineer leader. I believe is the sentinel. Scrapper is the vanguard, and operative is infiltrator. I kind of like that they renamed these these you know builds. Just sort of gives this uh, fresh feel and makes it feel like this is a totally different game from the Mass Effect Trilogy, but still taking things from the original Mass Effect Trilogy classes. So I said that um, my favorite my favorite character type of class in Mass Effect, at least in the Trilogy, is the Sentinel. And the reason why it's my favorite is because um, I love technology. Like in real life, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, so I love science and technology and math. Um, but at the same time, I also love um, biotics too, because um, in games, like fantasy games, I love magic. And in other settings, like in comic book settings, specifically telekinesis, you know, telepathy, telekinesis, um, like, like uh, psionic powers, those are kind of my powers that are my favorite. And so... A sentinel is the perfect marriage between the two, like having a little bit of magic, magic, air quotes, having a little bit of, you know, telekinetic, psionics, as well as technology. So that was why I, I loved the, um, loved um, the, why can I not think? That's why I love that class, um, the sentinel. But uh, for my Let's Play, which is basically what I'm going to be modeling um, my Shepard for this game, even though I'm not, you don't actually load the save from Mass Effect 3 onto this game, 
but going in, we're going to say that Clive Shepard's story is the Milky Way story for this game. Um, and Clive was an adept, because the adept biotics, like full-on biotics, was my second favorite class. Sentinel was the class of my first shepherd, which is not Clive, my first shepherd, which was a female shepherd, um, and then Clive Shepherd was an adept. So I'm going to try something completely different this time. Um, the tech skills in this game looks really awesome from what I've seen so far. Um, so I think I'm going to be focusing more on engineer with a smattering of biotics. So it's going to be a soft sentinel is my plan on how I'm going to be playing my rider. A soft sentinel with, with a major lean, major lean towards engineer. In this case, I'll be a technician. So current training technician. It, sound, it seems a little stereotypical for an Asian, but hey, what can you do? Um, choose name. Okay, so here's a, here's a major part. Here's a major part. So I have a major shout out that I have to give right now. Earlier in the year, I had asked my viewers to send recommendations, suggestions to help name my writer for this game. And so many people brought on some really great suggestions, super creative. Some of my favorites were Gabriel, because again, the whole angel arts thing, Angel, Gabriel, I love that name a lot. My Fallout 4 character was named Gabriel. Um, a lot of people were giving me um, tons of amazing suggestions. Um, but I have to give mad props to Kiwi Leclerc, I think is how you pronounce um, to pronounce that. Kiwi Leclerc um, gave me a name that I thought I really enjoyed a lot and I thought rolled off the tongue, and that is Skyler or Sky. Sky Rider or Skyler Rider which I am going to put in. Skylar Ryder, I don't know, something about that just, it just flows off the tongue. I really, really like the confirm your choices and for continuing. So we've got Skylar Ryder. So male, just make sure I have everything. Custom appearance, tactician, Skylar Ryder. Customize your twin. There we go. So we've got Skylar and we've got our twin. And I think we still, I think we have to call our twin um, Sarah. Yeah, I don't think we can change our twin's name. Choose from a variety of preset appearance to fully customize the character's look. Okay. All right, so we've got Sarah, Skylar and Sarah. Skylar and Sarah is pretty cool, I have to say. Customize history. Cool. All right, now we can do a little bit more of this backstory. Choose the gender of the legendary Commander Shepard, first human specter and hero of the Citadel. So it was a male Shepard. He didn't look like that, though. He didn't look like that, but that's okay. Commander Shepard was male. Upload character data. Check the option to upload your character to the Mass Effect Archives website where you can report in the future or share with friends. I think that's fine. Requires an active. Import character data. If you've set up an account on the Mass Effect Archives website, this option allows you to import a Mass Effect Andromeda character you previously uploaded or use custom appearance that others have shared online and active internet, uh, internet connections acquired. So this is cool. So this is sort of like the Dragon Age Keep, I believe, is how that works. So um, that's, I like that. I like that they're bringing that into the game. It makes a lot of sense. Um, so let me just double check. All right, we're male. My appearance is customized. I'm a technician. Uh, Skylar is my first name. My twin is just as Asian as I am, which is, aw I love, I love her look. I love that hair. These twins are amazingly awesome. And I believe that your dad gets customized based on the appearance of your, um, I'm not sure if it's based off the appearance of both of the twins, or I heard it's more based off of your character. So it's possible to have your character look more like your dad than your twin, and then if your twin seems to be completely different from you, then your twin could very well be adopted. Or both of you could be adopted, I guess, technically. Customized history, male shepherd, Clive. 
can't name my shepherd unfortunately, but it is Clive. Upload character. Alright, confirm and start. We're finally beginning the game. Normal, this difficulty is intended for players with experience playing shooters and RPGs. This is that baseline Mass Effect combat experience. I'll start with normal for now. I'll start with normal for now, and then I can always change it. Would you like to start the game? Yes. Oh my goodness. Exporting appearance data. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. I'm trying really hard not to fanboy freak out right now too much. I'm doing it a bit, but I'm trying not to do too much. Calm. Electronic Arts presents... Oh, yes! Give it to me, game. A Bioware production. Bioware, thank you. Thank you, everyone involved with this game. Every single person. Thank Every you. great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. So beautiful. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future Cora for humanity. and Daddy. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Oh, it's an arc. Look at that arc. It's so beautiful. Everything about this game is so beautiful. In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the 100,000 adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in... Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda. Beautiful. I, my body is so ready for this in so many ways. Wow. 634 years later, date zero hour, zero day. Oh man. <laughs> I think that's the human arc. Oh man. Arc Hyperion, occupancy 20,000 human colonists. Wow. Oh man. 20,000. Andromeda Galaxy, destination, Habitat 7, in the Helios Cluster. How about Habitats 1 through 6? Hyperion cryogenics <gasps> is Va Hyperion. Does that mean Vaughn is going to be in this game? That would be kind of awesome. Vaughn and Reese, yes. Hyperion, yes. I guess those are all cryogenic. Those are the cryogenic cells right there. Something's coming up though. <gasps> There's there he is, Skyler. We made it. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? Oh, wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Lexi. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. 
Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Tone choice. Tone choices help define Ryder's personality. Okay, emotional, logical, casual, professional. I like that. Easy is no fun. It's what we train for. Okay, so that's casual, professional. Okay, so circular. Circular is casual. Box is professional. The cogs is logical. Heart is emotional. All right. I'm kind of trying to make, like, Skylar a little bit more casual than professional. A little more casual. And... I think that he's probably more even between logical and emotional, but we'll see how we'll see how these these conversations go. I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you Liam. on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Taparo. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? My implant. Yes, I'm excited. Still thawing. Ah, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Thank you, Sam. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I'm still thawing. <laughs> I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we packed more coffee. Readings confirmed. <laughs> Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, oh, yeah. it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Oh no. Oh, Dr. Lexi. Oh, what the heck is that? What was that? And how did we not see it coming? How did we not see that coming? Whoa, Sarah. <gasps> oh, man. What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Try to brace yourself. Gravity cryobase offline. Press Alt to look. I'm almost at the the three. Hold on. This is cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Things are starting to pick up. Cora, hey. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. <gasps> Mission teams continue preparation. Dad. Cora, writers. Report to the writers place. plural. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. Oh no. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong with my sister? What's wrong with my sister? What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Message from Captain Dunn. Attention Hyperion personnel. After a 600-year voyage, the good news is we're exactly where we're supposed to be. Wow, 600 years, we're exactly where we're supposed to be. We have arrived in the Helios Cluster, Andromeda Galaxy, year 2819. All stasis medical personnel should report for duty immediately. Give the Pathfinder mission team revival priority and prep its members for field reconnaissance. Reports of an unusual celestial phenomenon in the cluster, area, in the cluster are being investigated. Updates to follow Captain Dunn. Hmm. As I'm concerned about my sister, you can tell I'm concerned about my sister by the way that I'm wandering off, getting myself into trouble. People are still waking up. Nice and easy. Just take deep breaths. Was that floating? 
had a little hiccup with the gravity. What day? When is it? It's been 600 years. We're in Andromeda. It worked? So far, so good. How do you feel? Mike, I've got the world's worst hangover. Mm. Cryopad. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. This is the Sweet dreams. Weird. How do you mean? I don't remember dreaming or anything. Hey there, dude. One minute I'm in the Milky Way getting ready to sleep, and the next, you're two million light years away. No joke. We really flew that far? We really did. Welcome to Andromeda. Hey, dude. You're kind of cute. We'll talk later. <laughs> oh, that's right. Sarah, my sister. That's right. It's priorities. <laughs> Engineering, this is Cryo Bay. We've got a pod that was damaged when we lost gravity. You'll probably want to send somebody over. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yep, all without pancakes. Doggone it. What about liquid pancakes? Sorry, it's mushy, milky stuff. Tastes like paste. Well, you're not getting a tip. <laughs> I like this guy. He likes pancakes. He knows his priorities. Okay. Like, there's just so many things to see and do. Fisher. Gravity lost me in Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Or I don't know. Thanks, Kirkland. Good to see you, Ryder. <sighs> uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. Aren't we all? You and my both, dude. Oh man. Look at this. Journal. Report to the Hyperion Bridge. Optional. Check your sister. Check your sister is optional. That's hilarious. Alright, there's a lot of codex stuff, which I'm going to read in a separate... I will. What I'll do is, reading the journal stuff and the codex stuff, I'll probably do in a separate video, so that those of you who are not interested in me just reading things can just skip it and go to the next one. So, nothing. I can't do anything inventory. I can't save my game right now. Skills, combat. Ooh, I've got overload right off the bat. I've got. All right. Oh my goodness! Look at that. All right, I'm gonna look at all of this stuff. All right, once I actually get points, then I'll take a better look at this. I just wanted to see what else is here. Game. Oh, tutorials. Load later. Save. Jump to multiplayer. Interesting. Andromeda Initiative. Oh, these are codexes. Not available. Oh, so this is... Gotcha. Map. Journal. Game. Okay. Now I'm getting the... I'm getting the... I'm getting this figured out. Cool. This looks broken. Still getting used to it. Where are you from? Toronto. Toronto? I want to... I'm a colony man myself. Eden Prime. You had some trouble there, didn't you? Fighting? Yeah, I lost some friends. Figured it was time for a fresh start. Well, welcome to your new life, eh? Yeah, welcome to your new life. Message from Gian Gars uh, Car Garson. Hello, traveler, and welcome to your first day in Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era for all of us. As you recover from stasis, know that you're in good hands. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of your fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build the new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long wait, but I promise you it will be worth it. Gene Garson, founder of Andromeda Initiative. Why does it sound like a flyer from for the vaults from the Fallout series? Costa. Did the world just... Hey there. Hell of a wake-up call, huh? Didn't expect that bursting out of stasis. I love it. Makes two of us. Hang in there. I love Liam's voice. I love Liam's voice. Well, no obvious contusions to your brain. Looks nice and pink. Wait, the cut's that deep? <laughs> Just kidding. Checking for a concussion. Your cognitive awareness seems okay. Ah, uh, right. Which get your degree, Doc? No need. Don't let anyone be a doctor around. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
God, your auditory response seems normal. <laughs> I love it. Enjoy your nap, Ryder. Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. How about you, Costa? Do you have anything else to say? Catch you later. All right, Costa. See you around. See ya. Let's check on our sister. Give it a second. The processor is sick. Did the seals break? No. Physical integrity looks good. Ryder. Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. What's the prognosis? I think I think the, here um, he's going to be in logical mode. When can she wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. Good. Very good. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while. Then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. Okay. Right. I'll wait for you at the door. Whenever you're ready to go. Okay. Can I talk to Cora? Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Right. So parts of the body could be waiting. Parts of the body? But others aren't. We can't be sure just yet. Don't worry, Ryder. We'll take care of her. She'll make it. Good. Thank you. What about another colonist here? Information wall. Hi there. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. Mm. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. Hmm. If you have any questions now, just ask. Oh, wow. Mission status. At present, our Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As recon specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites. Gotcha. Exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. That makes sense. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. The other arcs. Your current location is Arc Hyperion, housing the human population. Arc Parchero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Arc Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Arc Natanis, ah, arriving in 2185. Four of them. There's four arcs. So four arcs, one for each major species of the races in the Milky Way galaxy. Solarians, Asari, um, humans, and Turians. That's not to say, though, that other races weren't also on those arcs. It was just that those arcs were made specifically for the physiology of those alien races. You know, for example, for the Turians, because they can only eat specific types of food. Um, but that doesn't mean that other races didn't get on board. I'm hoping, here's to hoping, that we're going to see a Quarian. I'm pretty sure the Quarians probably would have gotten on board, but we'll see. Um, our destination. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. We're going to Habitat After 7. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a you part of the first of wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Got it. Pathfinders. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. Got it. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. It's her dad. The current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. And Andromeda Initiative. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. Uh-oh. So the Nexus is sort of like the Citadel, kind of. Message from the founder. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. 
Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream, and I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. <laughs> There's a suggestion box somewhere. The Andromeda Initiative yeah. encompasses all colonized. The current location of the Nexus. Other is topics. Unknown. Oh, this is. Status of outposts are unknown. All right, this just takes me back here. All right, log off. Sweet. Haze. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. I've dreamed about this my whole life. I sure hope it matches the brochure. Me too. I'm just making sure that all of the conversation here gets exhausted. Yeah, it looks like all the conversations here got exhausted. I'm pretty thorough when it comes to these games, guys. I will talk to everyone and try to exhaust all their dialogue as much as possible because I, I don't want to miss any of the writing in this game. That's one of the th my favorite things. You're on the Pathfinder team, aren't you? Yeah. Then I'd say you've had enough. No time for pit stops. Liam. Liam, buddy. Let's get to the bridge. Hey, Cora. You're gonna come with, right? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What's wrong? We've got a surge of power reading. Oh my goodness, what's going on? I don't think that's good. What is going on with our ship? Hey, up here! Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power motor and explode. But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder could find it. He has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the vault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. I'll hey, try to run a diagnostic. Out. I'll override the safety. Got it. Press G to open your scanner. Ryder, try scanning the whole conduit. Look for the vault. There's no indication of a fault in this environment. Keep looking. I know, I know. This equipment is operating normally. On, it has to be. On. I can't this... get the circuits to reset. Keep trying. This is pretty cool. So I have to go. It's somewhere over here. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! This right. makes sense. Can you go reset it? Phase coil. Phase coil for modulating power streams. Status current detected. Analysis the component is function of things specific parameters. Axial coupling. Axial couplings for distributing current for this uh, current status interface ping successful. Analysis the components function within desired parameters. So I have to go and find data relay to see internal warping detected status current no current present. This component has suffered an extreme temperature event that is non-functional. Power terminal. There, it's reset. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's why I'm a Thank technician. God. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. All right. Objective mission information is listed in the mission tracker at the top right corner of the screen. All right. Close. Barely in Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Yes. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. I but I want to hear all these people talk first. Event tracking logs, automated logs, report run twenty eight eight nineteen identifier QPAZ. Year event, 2185 departure. Procedures confirmed. 2185 stasis lockdown engaged. Confirmed. Anomalous com sensor readings report logged. Trajectory drift detected. Report logged. Trajectory course correction confirmed. Arcs Pachero, Lucinia, Natanis condition green. So the, the arcs were fine at 2411. 
Sensor array fault detected, report logged. Sensor array fault repair failed. Trajectory destination confirmed. Destination location proximity confirmed. Stasis revival engaged confirmed. Nexus arcs Pachero, Lucius, Lucinia, Natanis not detected. Ooh. So I guess part of our adventure is going to find out what happened to those arcs. Hopefully everybody's okay. Sensor fault, a whole bunch of gibberish. Error. Ooh. I mean, all things considered, with everything that's going wrong, all things considered, the things that have been going right is impressive. I think having having my writer be a technician makes more sense that he's you know able to use all these devices. But I guess maybe in the future, every single person is that savvy with the with the Omni tool, so maybe not. But in my head, helm control report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. Where's my dad? First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Hey, it's Dad. Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. He's got my Attention eyes. To adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Wow. What is that? Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Mm. It's her call. I prefer solid ground. It's her call. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Ooh, what? Is that our golden world? Look at that scar. On That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. It looks... well, it looks... like a fixer. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human It looks settlement. like a fixer-upper, though. A... It doesn't even look the same. We can't give up now. It looks bad. Uh... Yeah, Ryder's gonna be like, it looks kind of bad. She's right, it looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are on there. We're maroon. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, mm. we need to know if that's safe harbor. Mm. And if it's not. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. Finally, we're gonna get touched down on a planet. A stubborn one, isn't he? Give him a chance. He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Oh boy. What is that big giant scar on that planet? It doesn't, again, it doesn't look like. It makes sense though, because I mean, the. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? <laughs> I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't mm. wait to get started. So she's older. My sister's well, older. Don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does. She's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. Oh. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. Ooh, is that a bar? The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Oh. 
the good luck rock is a superstition. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. We're going on our first mission. Oh, first mission. And it's really cool that, um, that, uh, I think that we, we keep Sarah's name, like her default name, because it allows everybody to refer to her by name. And I think that allows us to differentiate between Ryder, because everybody's calling me Ryder, versus Sarah, who is also a writer. Um, the thing about the whole thing with their, them saying that this planet doesn't look quite right, well, remember, we're how many light years away from Andromeda, so who knows, you know, all that data that we got is probably really outdated, depending on how fast we can get data. So that's the thing. I feel like our sensors or whatever we did to research all these planets, we have to take it with a grain of salt because I think depending on how fast we're able to get the data, it probably is... I'm not too surprised that the Habitat 7 looks like that because the data that we got was probably just outdated. But anyway, that's just my thought. Pathfinder Team Field Manual First Contact Protocol In the event any member of the Pathfinder Team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace, and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action is against extraterrestrials. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. That makes perfect sense. Try really, really hard to play nice with the natives because we have to remember as the... We have to remember we're the outsiders. We are the people who are coming into their home. So... You know, we need to be as respectful as we can and not to be hostile towards them because we're the, you know, otherwise we're the invaders. We're the ones infringing on their space. So that's important, like even more important. And it'd be really interesting if we ended up somehow being the bad guy in this story because of the fact that we're just coming in and, you know, taking over Andromeda which isn't even our own galaxy, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Just no flying into that messed up space cloud. You kidding? Hey, Ryder. Hey, it's boys. Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. I like your hair, dude. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on? I love this. I love that I get to talk to people on the ship. Be afraid. Planet Fallen 30. Be afraid. Sensors are scrambled. We're home. Looks like we're already home. That's a relief. With everything that's been happening, I wasn't sure. Guess I can unpack my luggage. I get dibs on any islands we find. See you guys in the ride down. The way I'm, I'm trying to roleplay Ryder is, is, like I said, he's pretty evenly split, I think, between logical and emotional. Um, I think that when, when stuff is happening, when stuff's going down, he tends to be in logical mode because he feels that if he's too emotional, it's hard for him to really focus and getting the problem fixed. But if he's just hanging out with people casually on the ship, or I'm sorry, logical versus emotional. So if he's casually hanging out with people on the ship, he'll be a lot more emotional with them because he can be more emotional. So that is pretty much what dictates how I'm, you know, going to behave role-playing wise. Pathfinder Team Field Manual Introduction. As a member of the Pathfinder Team, you play a critical role in the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges. Golden World Site Verification, Reconnaissance and Mapping of Unknown Territories, Planetary and Celestial. Scientific Analysis and Discovery of New Phenomenon, Phenomenon, Potential first contact with extraterrestrials, establishing diplomatic relations with local inhabitants, and general support for of settlement outposts. Got it. Sarah Ryder's locker. Hang in there, Sarah. As I go through your personal effects, Alec Ryder's locker. Looks like Dad's already suited up. Oh, water cooler. Better not. No bathroom breaks in this trip. Oh, it's not built into your suit? Hey, Fisher. Ryder? Hey, Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. Um... Oh, gosh. 
I think that Ryder tends to be more truthful than not. Yeah, I, as a as a technician, I think he tends to be more truthful. He could say don't believe the rumors, but it's true. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition, but my dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship, her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. That's true. I go wherever he goes. Crashing the party, huh? Sorry. No. Sorry about that. Now let's put the music on. Can I talk to Cora? Dad's rock. Good luck, rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. Oh. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Yeah. Good luck, rock. I'm fine with the good luck, rock. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? Yeah. Can't wait to get out there. The nap wasn't long enough. We can handle it. No plan is perfect. Yeah, he'll be emotional. If it was, this wouldn't be any fun. I can't wait to find out what's down there. I know what you mean. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Maybe. I prefer to eat lunch, not be lunch. You're not a real explorer till you've got some scars or bite marks. I've got scars. Note, I'd better get my gear in order. I've got scars. I've got a scar. I normally am not a big fan of. Well, scars are growing on me. I don't find. I never really did find scars particularly sexy. Sorry, Garrus. But they're growing on me. Got it. Initiative That's helmet. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Armaments we expecting locker? trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. The M3 Predator. Hope I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Prologue Hyperion is done. Now we're gonna go check out Habitat 7 and see what we can find. Hey, Dad. Dr. Carlisle, with everything going on, I oh, think Dr. the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Hmm. If that is home down there, this could get rough. He's gonna be logical here. Yeah, we're just not sure what's on the other side of the door. No problem. If it has teeth, I brought the pliers. Yank them out myself. All right, team. Button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. How about Liam? Where's Liam? I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. You shouldn't worry. She better. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. What about her mom? I want more information on her mom. What happened to our mom? Okay, team, listen up. There's Liam. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. I love the soundtrack. When people look back on this, and they will. They'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. 
We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. The music in Bioware. Wait, 600 years for this. It's so good. Hey, Liam. Hey, bro. Liam and I, I'm, I'm, oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh. Parker, this is Shadow 1. Switching to manual guidance. This is so cool. Good luck, Pathfinder team. It's like a fresh new start, not only in-game, but out of game. Because, again, this is a brand new Mass Effect game that's totally different from the trilogy. Copy that. We're on point. Wow. We look at that. Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, stay clear of it. Wow. There's the Gravity arc. nominees detected. Stomach would appreciate that. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Wow. Ryder. We didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. Beginning our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Oh boy. Hang on. Initiating atmospheric entry. Here we go. Here we go. Just approach that turn. We're through. Holy. Shuttle 2, are you seeing this? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Yeah. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We have this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. <laughs> mountains are floating? Look, port side. Has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Ooh, that, has anyone seen us? That could be good or bad. What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Oh. Oh my gosh. Lightning strike? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Liam and Ryder! Liam! Oh. Acceleration increasing. No kidding! Skylar! It's malfunctioning. Get it working! Skylar! Terminal velocity. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love this! 